All right, here's a late review on Linux Mint 12. Uh, a few of my subscribers asked me to do this on release day of Linux Mint 12. I was kind of busy or I, or I was lazy, one of those things. So I'm doing it now. Uh, the difference here with this release, which I haven't used Linux Mint in a while, uh, not because I hate it, it's because um, usually they come out late and uh, if you use like 64-bit, you'll come in, you know, whenever. You don't even know. So that's another issue I have with Linux Mint. So it's not because I hate it, um, you know. Uh, it's just that it's inconvenient for me to just guess when they're going to release it. Anyways, go back to this review here. Um, they have two panels now. Before they had one panel. Right? So this bottom panel, is, I guess it represents like GNOME 2 error. Uh, and um, this top panel here is the GNOME 3 error, right? And you still have your GNOME shells, right? And you can still do the same stuff with the super key. And what else we open here? Like, I don't know, terminal. Right, so if you hate uh, GNOME shells, then I guess you're still going to hate it. <laughs> um, oh, yeah, they do have this thing. They try to modify it, which is pretty cool. I mean, this is, I guess, what is that, the tray part? Not exactly sure. So they did uh, improve something to it. Not just like any other distro that just put stock uh, GNOME 3 or whatever. Linux Mint folks actually did some stuff, you know. They actually made their own thing with it. Uh, another thing that they made is the menu. I think it's called the uh, Linux Mint GNOME 3 menu or GNOME Shell Mint menu, something like that. Um, I'm not very impressed by this. It's kind of laggy too. Like if you switch over to uh, a different category, it kind of lags behind. You know, it's not a smooth transition. Uh, another thing is that you see these little white spots. I'm not sure if it's actually the 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 menu itself or a graphic card, or whatever it is, but it's there. Okay. And the last thing about this one is that the cursor here. It ain't blinking so I see that I, I think that the menu froze or something it's not actually frozen you can actually still type in it but in my mind if it's not blinking you know I think it crashed right so that's another issue that I have with it it doesn't blink which uh, usually that's what you it does when you click on a field right so that's that that should fix those stuff so I, I would say it's like not a deal breaker I mean you still use it but it's not like very impressive at, at the same time, right? And if you're a long-time GNOME user, I mean, you can still use GNOME, no issues. But there's this one thing, I mean like GNOME apps, you know, you can use GNOME apps, no issues. But this is one thing that, um, uh, you know, Linux Mint 12 has that I don't think any other distro with uh, GNOME shells, you know, have. Is that they have this mate desktop environment. And this is very interesting when I first heard about it, it's because um, Mate is a fork of GNOME 2 so that means you still use the traditional desktop and you still use the updated apps which a lot of people want, you know, they want just to use GNOME uh, 2 with the updated apps, that's really all they want uh, so they do have that option here, so you, all you gotta do is, is log out you know, do a log out and change it to Mate in the little icon next to the password thing and you can log into it and then use it all right um all the new apps with the new updated versions will work no issues and what else is there so i do like that i'm not sure if mate will be around well it'll be around for this release but i mean they made it compatible with like gnome 3 stuff I'm not sure how long they can do that so I mean in the future I think they're gonna have to go with their own CD and you know their own separate thing I don't think they can make it compatible with uh, GNOME 3 forever so that's just what I see right now um, but it's a good option you know no other distribution is doing it uh, and, and that's the, the interesting part of uh, Linux Mint okay as far as the you know the whole uh, desktop itself, they do have bugs, but it's not like 
you know major stuff that will fucking annoy you um although there is one thing in here it's not the default but I just hate it I think I talked about this like in uh when I use like Linux Mint 7 but I did install Chromium and the 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 freaking default search engine that they have like you know when you type in the Omni bar here and like let's say for example Linux um, they use their custom search engine and this is how they make money I don't have an issue with them making money it's just that this custom uh, search engine I don't like because let me go to the Google official one type in some stupid thing see I need this little search uh, or a filter bar in the side here which this one doesn't have and that's why I never use the Linux Mint custom one and I think I complained about this like you know back in Linux Mint 7 or something like that I don't know or 8 or 9 or something like that I'm not sure but yeah I mean still annoying as ever um, although I want them to make money it's just that I don't want to use their custom crap I, I want to use this thing with the filters you know you filter by days hours and whatever uh, which is more convenient to me anyways if you want to disable that you can go to um, what is it their their preference here right and then you can go to manage uh, search engine and then you can go back to this one which is um, the one that they usually have by default and you make a default here and now you can do the search and you won't have the Linux Mint stuff no more because I like this thing but if you're not bothered by it you know this is how they get money you can use this one anyways that's something I always hated which I, I think they never figured it out uh, and, and that's why I always have to go back to using uh, the official Google so hopefully they fix that or not then I won't be using it and overall though I would recommend it to people um, it does feel good to use it I, I don't really have a lot of issues with it um, but maybe we'll, we will have issues once I use it more and I'm gonna try mate too because mates very interesting you know and you can use gnome 3 and gnome 2 um, and you don't have to reboot or anything you just log out and you log in and then you have it you know the best of both worlds so gnome users you can either rejoice or you know not and use something else like KDE or XFC or whatever other desktop environment that uh, you know the refugees are, are going to now anyways that's it for this one